YouTube Dawson Rider here with a review of SH Figure Art Shinken Green from Samurai Sentai Shinkenger. Second time with a new setup, doing a little bit different lighting once again. Uh, give me feedback on this new style and the lighting and how everything appears. So anyway, once again another exclusive unfortunately, but he's awesome. Spoiler alert. So take a look at the packaging, just like Shinken Blues and Reds. Same style except it's green. You got a picture of the figure right here tinted in green. It says Shinken Green down here. Uh, Shinkenger logo. It says Shinken Green over here. Uh, Chiaki Tani or Tani Chiaki. On the side here, you got his kanji symbol. Uh, it says Shinken Green over here. The side over here just carries over the art. Random phone numbers. On the top here, it says Shinken Green again, but it's got his origami on top. On the back, some cool poses you can get him in. I like this one in particular. Um, his accessories um, with all of his weapons. Description of Shinken Green. So let's take a look at what this guy comes with. Make sure the lights on. Okay, sorry. Um, so he's got a bunch of different hands. They're in a kind of a weird order because I kept them in the order of the packaging so that I remember how to put it back in. Uh, you got a bunch of different uh, various posed hands as you can see for various action poses with the sword or without the sword or with a spear. And then of course you got the fists that came with it. On him I have the two hands for holding weapons. Um, you've got a little tiny kuma origami which looks really nice. Um, I really enjoy the way they did these. Like I said, more detail than the Samurai Megazord. Um, and all the details are here, and his little head has articulation, which is great. And just a great little accessory. And then you got Kuma in uh, folded up mode, which is cool. Uh, you got a little tiny Shudo phone, uh, nicely detailed as well in brush mode. And then you get the wood spear here, or the forest spear if you're watching Samurai. Very long, that sounded wrong, but it's very nice size and uh, it's really ni uh, neat. Uh, here and you can also pull off the disc so you can see it on there which is also a nice uh, attention to detail um, so in addition he comes with his Shinkan Maru which is having trouble coming off there we go and I always pop off the damn holster when I do it but at least it's secure right so uh, once again nicely detailed um, as you can see here great paint great sculpt the disc does come off as well. I don't think I showed that in my Shinkan uh, Red review. So anyway, let's take a look at the figure. This figure is another uh, great uh, release in Sentai, in my opinion. The head sculpt or the helmet, once again, done very well. Uh, really glossy on the visor and on the head. Oh, I got gold paint on me. Um, it just looks really great, um, and it captures the look of a Ranger helmet very well. Um, once again, ch chest obviously green, nice color. Um, these shoulder pieces here are once again a different color than the rest of the body, which bugs me, but it's definitely not as bad as Shinken Red's, but I still have no idea why they do that. Um, his belt, nicely done, as you can see here. Here's his closed mode shooter phone in the case. His legs are all black, so nothing really to speak of, but the paint and details on him are all that they need to be. Sentai figures tend to be a little simpler because, you know, they're not riders, they don't have a bunch of details. So articulation wise, his arms go 360 here, and he's got like this weird shoulder joint going on. Uh, swiveling here, double elbow joint, swiveling at the wrist, yeah the wrist, that's right. <laughs> um, and then he's got articulation here at his waist and his chest. Nice uh, neck joint here, moves all around. Um, a ball joint here on his head, move, can move around 360. You can do some exorcist shit or something. Uh, 360 ball joint here, swiveling, double knee joint here, swiveling, toe joint, toe action. So very well articulated, as usual. Um, you can get some really great poses out of these guys, and it's really nice to have Sentai figures now. Uh, let's see what kind of pose I want to do them in. Let's put a Shinken Maru in first, just to show you the kind of pose you can get them in. If I can get this lined up and not to be a douchebag. Sorry about the brief little delay here. Okay, so I'm going to kind of put this in his hands, like over his head. Let's see. There's a, it's kind of mimicking the pose of the sword on the back, but with this. Hey look, he's looking up at it, he's like, what are you doing to me, son? So there we have that. So you're going to kind of have him doing like a, I don't know. Oh, totally off camera. I apologize about that. Um, just doing a cool pose, and then we'll bring in some, some comparisons. Um, I think for the final shot, we'll do a team shot. So just for comparisons, for you Power Rangers fans out there, or, you know, Sentai fans that collected the Power Rangers figures. Myself included, I uh, was a big collector of the 5-inch line and was disappointed when Bandai switched over. 
So I did this in Shink and Blue, but I'll do it more separately in this one. These are great figures for substituting your 5-inch line to go with your collection. Um, here is a 5-inch Jungle Fury uh, Ranger. The Jungle Fury Ranger actually is a little bit taller than him, or it could be about even because his knees are a little bit bent. But as you can see, relatively fits in well. These will look odd with your, you know, steroid max Time Force Rangers and stuff, but with the more recent ones, it looks nice. Um, also, RPM Ranger Series Red. Um, Shinken Green is a little uh, collar, taller, but um, it still uh, fits in nicely and it's definitely a lot better than what we're getting now. Oh god, I'm sorry about that. So, you know, the Samurai little 4 inch figures aren't bad, but if you can spend the money, I definitely recommend getting these instead. So just because it'll look cool, let's bring in, here's Shinken Blue, let's stand next to him, get these accessories out of the way, here's Shinken Blue, and then we have to have Tono Sama with him, put it over here, and then of course you can't go wrong with Genta, who's going to kind of stand back here unfortunately, but there you are, there you have it, all four Sentai figure arts, they look fantastic together, I'm just really glad we have these. Um, just all really good figures. Uh, Shinken Green himself, I really like him a lot. Uh, I can't really pick a favor between blue and green. I like them pretty much equally, so I equally recommend them. Green's definitely a great figure. If you're going for these, and you're a Sentai fan or a Ranger fan, I definitely recommend tracking him down. It's definitely worth the pickup. Uh, the Sentai figures overall have done really great to impress me so far. A little bumpy with red, but they all look really good, and they're really well accessorized, and a lot of just different things you can do with them. I'm really pleased with it, and I definitely look forward for what the line has to offer. If I had to pick an absolute favorite for my Sentai figure art, it'd probably be Gosei Knight. I know he's not out yet, but I know he's going to be awesome. So anyway, Dawson Rider seal of approved, seal of approved, seal of approval achieved for Shinken Green. Go ahead and pick him up. He deserves to be in your collection for a Shinken or a Power Rangers fan. So until next time, make sure you check out uh, Riders, Rangers, and Rambles for token news in the craziest way possible. And while you're there, check out the Rad Boards to discuss token uh, news or anything else. And of course, check out the Crazy Podcast. So until next time, it's Dawson Rider, signing in.